Exciting times. So we come back in the morning and I think we've got our first Suffolk cross lamb. But this one, it's got an hour black lamb and a Suffolk cross lamb. That can happen when you have twins. If both tups took the youth, two separate eggs, you can get one of each. That is definitely an hour black. That is definitely a Suffolk. So quite cool. The first Suffolk in the farm's history. Well, in my farm history. Right, so after an amazing start today, we're on a slight down at now. So we all know the ewe that we got in yesterday in a dramatic uh, attempt to try and save her. Unfortunately, in the evening, she passed away. We spoke to the vet too, and I gave her a jag of, a uh, big jag of antibiotics, just because we thought it could be listeria too. And it probably was that because there was no response really to the magnesium or the calcium we gave her. We tried our best. Um, and that's about all we can do. Um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Uh, but on top of that, we'll show you the borders, show you how they are getting on, because looking really well, if you look at them, these are the ones that get topped up, can you tell? We like this little pen because some of the ewes are a bit short of milk. So some of the lambs are just going to steal off the other ewes. It's far easier than um, keeping them in a little pen, topping them up. Eight border lesters, seven tops, one ewe lamb, and you can tell us a couple of cleans in there because they're the ones they're adopted onto, as well as blue bum off the ewe uh, with no teeth. So, as you've been watching all the vlogs, uh, but at the moment, nothing else particularly looks like it is gonna lamb, if I'm honest. <laughs> Although, we do have an escapee. You know what I mean? You're trying to get out while well, you pull out, and you can go back in. There you go. But yeah, really, really chuffed. That is the first Suffolk cross on the on the farm. The rest of these, if I'm honest, looking a bit more abba blacky. So we had, that's the fifth commercial one. You can see these are lambs. We go down, just down here. So you can see this one here. The abba blacks tend to be a bit more gingery coloured like this because you got ginger ears. Whereas the Suffolk's, I reckon, are going to be more black faced, a bit like that one. So, fun fact about this shoe, this is the oldest shoe in the flock. So, this is her eighth crop of lambs. There we go. Well done. Good girl, good bunny. Whoa, man, you've been there a while. Good girl. Nice lamb. This shoe was born in 2015. That's older than Robin. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but uh, yeah, this means is uh, her eighth. Yeah, she's really hollow. She'll be the oldest shoe in the flock. Uh, lamb straight up, or the head straight up. We have crossed her this year just because she wasn't the fittest in the first group of tupping. So I gave her an extra milk just to put some condition on. She got full mouth, should have plenty of milk. Um, exact reason why you'd want a clim really. Longevity. And it takes me back to that first trip I ever made to buy ewes. Went down to a chap called Sam Steele in Gloucestershire. Went and bought, I think it was, was it 10 or 12? 10 or a dozen ewes. Picked them out and that's where it all started. And she's still in the flock. Quite a long one. Mm. <laughs> Good girl. All right, she's got a bit of condition on her. Happy with you. Right, so I've listened to all your comments from the last video. We're getting the call using, I say call use, we're getting the aborted using. I'm gonna work through and see what's gonna go. The price is that high, we can't ignore it. So anything that's old or go next year anyway, it's gonna go. We've got one in here, if you remember, lay on its lamb, so that's going anywhere. We've got three up the road, so we can make that up to a dozen. Be a trip worthwhile going to trip worthwhile going to the abattoir and because these have been that pre lambing ration i'm hoping that'll be a decent nick too we're just going to work for them in the trailer uh i reckon we can get in the trailer with just josie and not need the handling system yeah we'll see here here this way
Good girl, good girl. Lie down now, lie down. Lie down, lie down. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> In here, we have a right mix. We have two border lessers that unfortunately have to stay because um, one of them's never got inland, but they're pets, so they're staying. And the rest, I'm going to work my way through. Uh, anything older is definitely probably going to go. If it's like five, six years old, can go. Um, we'll bring more shillings in next year. And then um, anything young. Can, and we'll look at teeth and bags and everything too because, yeah, the price is that good. We need to uh, try and get some gone. Well, I come back to you a few hours later than earlier, obviously. It is dark outside now, but great news. We've had another single Suffolk cross lamb. Just look at him. Absolute stunning lamb. Look at him. She had it all by herself. So what problem has this you had a bit of, Ellie? It's like she's had a bit of ring wound, but not completely. So, so managed... what's ring wound for people that don't know? So when the cervix doesn't fully open up when they're lambing, um, is basically what ring room is. The cervix is like an elastic band and the tension goes off it when the ewe starts to lamb 99 times out of 100. But in occasional circumstance, that won't up, open up naturally due to problems in birth and stuff like that, position of the lambs. So what you do is get some of a really small hand to work round and round on that to try and get it to open up. Ellie's been doing it now for about 15 minutes and she's finally got a hand through you can feel a head and legs, can't you? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's what lamb now. Yeah, there's two in here. Um, this is obviously one of the beef lot lambs, and uh, yeah, she's doing an absolute fabulous job. See, this is the prolapse here, so we're going to be really careful. There we are. There we are. I reckon that's a nice Suffolk cross. This is sometimes where experience gets in. When we started lambing nine, 10 years ago, this happened and sometimes you rush into it a bit too much. You don't really know what you're doing, but when it comes to tight cervixes, prolapses, the best thing to do is be patient and take your time. Right, so I'm really sorry, but we ran out of foam batch there. But fortunately, we have two absolutely cracking lambs. Just pen them up, come out all okay. We have just popped that spoon back in to make sure she doesn't push it out. Should be all okay now. Look at them, really nice, really lively. Uh, we'll leave her to mother up now, but we have an even bigger surprise now. Wait for it, wait for it. Look at the size of this monster. Absolutely huge. I thought that lamb we had earlier on at lambing was big. This is bigger. So much bigger. Look at the size of him. Obviously him. Mate, you're almost as big as your mum. Now that's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely massive. But... Lambed it herself, no problem at all. While we're showing out there, she just had the lamb. Um, I came over, absolutely crap, absolutely, um, what's a polite word to say? I thought the lamb was alive, went over to it, it went, and then, uh, yeah, it was alive. It just lay there, absolutely not taking breath or anything, and now gave it a bit of a shake on the belly, and he's going. And the mum knows what she's doing too. Good girl. Good girl. Now, in the meantime, I have no idea how, but we seem to have bred, or Soph seems to have bought show jumping sheep. That border 
should be that side in the pen, not on this side. And the camera is pointing right over there, so I'm gonna see if I can find the footage. We have a visitor that shouldn't be here. Sit down. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? They don't like you down here. Quick adjustment of the hay racks there. We put one a little lower than the other two so the lambs can just pack it. But we had a problem with all these stealing it and then getting filled up like every hour on the hour. So pots on the gate away from them. Hopefully that does the job. Just thought, yeah, look, the lambs are just picking out, which is what we want to. And these uh, picking at me as well. Lambing checks, anything alarming, triplets. One update, which is quite unfortunate. So 224, the one we tubed. Unfortunately, she's not coming to any milk. Um, they were both suckling really well. And early this morning, I just found the one dead in the pen. That's lambing. But um, the other one's really perky. They're very like this, they're both suckling really well. So <laughs> whatever was wrong with that, is it wrong with this one? Unfortunately, you're not feeding them, so I am. But uh, 224 is his best. I uh, just wish she had some milk. Right, quick fertilizer delivery unloaded there. And we are on to the morning after. So plan is now, we're getting the use we pulled out to take the abattoir in as I'm going to take them right now a uh, quick morning run and we have just pulled the one out of the shed because we forgot about the one with no nipples she's going to come too so we got the dream dream team me and Josie then we're off Back from the abattoir now, uh, in the end we sent 12 ewes, nine of those that aborted that we went through the other day, and three um, barring ewes from earlier in the year that had like little to no condition on them. So uh, that's them gone, and we also sent a couple of fat lambs too that just got a little bit, bit too big for putting in boxes. Uh, yeah, but, we have some new additions. By the looks of that, we have two pedigree clins. So, uh, I have said, obviously, the majority of this group are all commercial, but any of the any of the pedigrees that did come around that we that didn't get into up the first cycle, we did give them another alongside these. So there will be the odd clin in here. This one up. Being suckling by the looks of it, that one is suckling right now. So, good signs. Now, something that you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed, and I've kind of forgot to bring up in the last 10 days. So, the 224 pen and the pen next to it used to have many annoying little K lambs. No K lambs, well, we had the one that we're feeding in 224, but we don't have them, and you'll be wondering, well, why have you sold them when well, we haven't sold them? You all remember Ella and her mum, Sammy, that came in the busy period at Lambing. Well, they have done me an absolutely huge favour, and their bottle feeding the lambs for me, they've got them at their house and rearing them. So, I'm currently absolutely very, very thankful to them because they're saving me many, many hours of sleep. Um, 
and many, many hours of bottle feeding. They're loving it, they love the lambs, but most of all, they're doing me an absolute huge favor. So if they're watching this video, massive thank you, but they're coming back with the lamb that's broke its leg. So probably, if nothing more dramatic happens, next time you'll see me, they'll be here with the lamb. All right, look who is back for another visit. So as I've said in previous videos, I've been very fortunate and Ella that you've all met and loads of times down the channel, Sammy have been looking after the Cade lambs for me and absolutely smashing it. But today they've brought back the lamb with the broken leg. So you came back last week and we redressed it. Well, mum redressed it. And now she's taking it off and fingers crossed, it should be solid enough to not need one. We might have to put another one on, but we'll see. 132 and 99 and my mum left the gate open they kept them running up and down. So I tried to catch them but I forgot. I got 99 first and then 132 I got her last. <laughs> It's calloused well, yeah. it's a big like lump, but then it like remodels itself so it should go yeah, yeah, yeah. like slim again. It's, it's not been a long time. Yeah. That's like there, the thinner one. Alright mate. <laughs> And just like that, new bandage, and off he goes again. Or she goes, I can't remember. He, 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 he goes again. So we're going to take the opportunity here. Finally, I've caught a single lambing. So Ella is going to kindly help me with this little quad, which we've been bottle feeding, well, which we've been topping up for like two weeks. Finally, it's going to get them on. Thankfully, they're quads, they're tiny, so hopefully, she will leave it. We're going to try a new technique and use a bucket because seeing someone do that, see if it works. Let's get on with it. Well, she's licking them both, so that can only be a positive. Well, is that cool? I've just landed a set of triplets. We've got a white coloured, we've got a white coloured one. One with a multicoloured head, white body. And a black one. They're definitely off different tops, I reckon. That's from the Aberbach. And that's from the Suffolk. It's the first time I've ever really used multiple tucks in a group. It just shows uh, when a ewe has multiple births, the lambs can be different from different tucks. Just as I was saying earlier today, or was it in the last video? I think it's wicked, like, there's obviously two Suffolks in there and one Aberbach. 